I'm here at Zandor Automotive near Swansea. These guys produce millions of parts for the automotive sector, but they also embrace technology. In other words, investing in the latest EDM machines through Makino with NCMT to make sure their shop floor processes operate 24-7. Scott, you guys at NCMT have been very busy on the EDM side. You brought us to uh, Zander Automotive uh, near Swansea. Now, these guys are using the machine in a very different way. I understand that they're actually using the machine to um, service their, their sort of punch and their dies here. Yeah, yeah Mark, I, uh, that's correct. Um, Zandor about 12 months ago approached me for, uh, with a, an EDM requirement for a, a new wire EDM machine. Uh, they're an existing user to EDM, uh, but they needed something that was a little bit more modern. Uh, obviously, things are changing now out there. Speed of cut is very important to Zandor. Uh, so we, we obviously introduced them to the U6 uh, with, the, with the heat technology on board. Uh, and this is allowing them now to cut probably 30% faster than what they would originally have done. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's more about supporting their own, uh, obviously, requirements with, uh, with tool. Uh, breakdowns uh, from their presses. Um, you don't really want in these, this day and age now to have to subcontract work out, um, giving your lead times of not being able to control when your jobs are going on. Uh, so yeah, it was for full controllability of, of, of everything they're doing here at Zandor. Now, uh, from an engineering point of view, when you look at some of the uh, dies that they're actually uh, using here to, to make uh, press parts, let's say, for the automotive sector, why, need, why do they need such a sophisticated machine with the tolerances? So yeah, I mean, with, with the tolerances now, tools are getting, are getting obviously much higher tolerances, uh, better fits on with the punches and the dies that they, that they require. Um, it's, it's better surface finishes as well for quick release of tool. And, and, and these things are now the reasons why they're having to go down the route of, of, of let's say, a little bit of a higher technology. Uh, and obviously following on from training and everything we've done with, with the, the boys here at Zandor, we seem to be getting some very good results here. And I suppose with the, the savings as well, obviously with the wire, I mean, this machine actually, you know, is a big saver of that, isn't it? It is. It, I mean, we've mentioned in the past with regards to obviously the machine itself, the heat technology, uh, high energy applied technology. Um, we, we've had it where, where obviously we're seeing now 30% quicker, uh, obviously, cycle times. This is due to the fact that the, the, the heat technology pumps that are on, on board, high pressure pumps, uh, supplying top and bottom nozzles, they allow the, 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 the speed to be uh, obviously pushed on the wire, uh, also running the wire slower because you get good parallelism of cut because you can get better flushing through on the process. So this is obviously saving uh, Zandor, uh, well, we hope, We'll be saving them money in the future. And when you look at the uh, obviously the control panel, yet again, it's a bit different to what they've been using. But how has the journey been on that side with the training? Very well, yeah. Uh, as you can see, I mean, uh, ac across the platform, I've mentioned a uh, uh, high pride control in the past. Now, now high pride control is standard throughout all of the Makino range on EDM. Um, it's very intuitive. It, it helps the operator learn on on a much faster scale. So, so someone that let's say isn't necessarily clued up on the EDM process can come onto a machine and work it really easily straight away but also existing users to EDM that know a process and know what they're doing enjoy obviously the uh, the tablet technology side of things with your modern day touch swipe uh, and yeah hopefully so oh, they seem to be enjoying it and the Makino brand in the UK and Ireland is becoming uh, more prevalent you know obviously with your journey you're taking me to a, a lot more customers but what I like about this the Xander project here is very much it's actually servicing their own requirements to make parts for automotive uh, companies basically yeah definitely uh, and and hopefully uh, in the future obviously they like what they see and and they they, they come back to NCMT for, for, for obviously future projects um, but we, we really needed to people to see how good this machine is uh, and obviously the type of work that it's doing not just obviously for themselves but but also in the market with other customers for for obviously different styles of work we, i think we'll start to see the makino around a lot lot more and also scott when you look at the ncmt model uh, obviously you've got makino from a grinding point of view and and your know, five axis machine tools the makino edm you, you're really pushing this in the uk and you're getting some great results why would you say that is uh, I think I think Makino historically have always been a very very well known company. Um, back in the UK in probably the last six or seven years, um, really starting to show now the quality of Makino. So Makino, we, we we really want to push in the UK. 
People need now quality. They need stability of cut. They need fast processes. Uh, they also need, obviously, build quality on machine. Build quality is to last. We don't want a machine going in, lasting five years, and then have to be replaced. We want you to have this machine and enjoy it comfortably for the next 20, 25 years of your working, obviously, life with the machine itself. And for engineers that maybe are looking for an EDM solution, are you holding stock at NCMT at the present? We do hold stock at NCMT. Um, obviously, we also have uh, available machines to come and view at our uh, facility in Coventry. Um, and we invite you to come and have a look, come and have a talk to me. Uh, we've recently just taken on another uh, sales guy for the south of the UK, um, who I'm sure uh, John Marshall will be introduced to you all shortly. Um, but, but yeah, so we want you to come and have a look, chat with us, Give us some of your, obviously, uh, requirements. I said, and, and we'll help you out as much as we can.